Hey, hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build and test Python Flask container application locally with using Docker desktop. So here, what I'm going to show you is we're going to have a VS code where I'm going to clone an example Python Flask container application source code. That source code we will be having a Docker file. So I'm going to use the build Docker image commands, which will actually create a Docker image and stores on a Docker desktop hub, right? So I have a Docker desktop, so on which uh, the image will be built uh, and, and will be stored. And then later we're going to run commands for running the Docker image, which will actually executes the, you know, which actually makes that uh, container image to run locally on Docker desktop. And we're going to see that, you know, how does this application works locally in my system, right? So I'm using Windows 11 system. So on that one, I have already installed Docker desktop. So for this video, Docker desktop becomes uh, you know the prerequisite software that you need to have in your system and then you need to have a vs code as well so on in the vs code we're going to clone an example python flask container application which is all available in the in the internet especially have downloaded from the microsoft documents and then we're going to use uh you know the azure cosmos db for mongodb options uh for you know for basically storing the data in the sense here we're going to run this application which actually stores some certain data of that application on Azure Cosmos DB, right? So basically in total, how you can compile your application and when you are building it, you know, when you are actually, uh, you know, uh, building the uh, uh, Python Flask container application, you need to dynamically build it, test it, right? So basically when you are, you are building a small feature within the application, you often need to build the image, test the, you know, test that in a locally. Then finally, we're going to see like, you know, how it will actually works in the hosting environment, say in the Azure cloud. Okay. So this is the, basically my first version of the video where you're going to see like, and how to build and test the Python Flask container application locally. In the next video, I'm going to help you with like, you know, how we can deploy this, you know, Python Flask container application on, you know, the um, Azure web app for container application. And we're going to realize that you know this is the same application working there as well all right so for this case what i do is i'm going to directly jump to the uh, demo part so here i have a cloned an application called um microsoft docs python flask container web app which is basically an, an example web application given from microsoft i downloaded it uh, you know basically i cloned it in my vs code and i have already opened this one so this is the source code which contains the source code in this one the our our very well known uh, basically you know the file which we care about in this uh, demo is 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 a is a Docker file. Okay, so as you know that Docker file is a definition file or specification file, which tells how your container image has to be constructed. Okay, so which includes like a you know the basically uh, the container image should be built from three dotted slim, should be exposed on you know port number five thousand. Then it needs to have an environmental variable. Then it will execute the requirement.txt file, which actually contains the you know the prerequisite models for Python applications. Then it will gonna run a command called python pip install requirement, which actually executes the which actually you know downloads and installs the requirement.txt uh, uh, mentioned uh, Python uh, models basically. Then it will also do a create a working directory called app and then copies the you know the, the all the files and folders present in the local into this particular app yeah so those are all the commands basically does then it also adds a, a particular user like this and, and you know so in total this is the you know file which actually tells that you know, hey my docker image should look like this okay all right so that is what i got uh, from this example python flask application for container uh, containerization yeah so now what I do is I'm going to quickly walk you through like, you know, what did I do? You know, how did I do that? You know, basically to build and test this application locally with using Docker desktop. Okay. So for this case, what I do is what, I, what we need to do is the first command is, you know, we need to build this application, right? So in the sense, we need to build this container application. We need to build, you know, basically we have a source code. We need to wrap that source code into a, a container image, right? To do that, we need to have a Docker you know desktop or docker environment in the sense docker is a software which will help us to build a container image out of it yeah out of your source code by referencing just referencing a docker file that's that that much simple it is so for that case what we did is you know i have a command called i executed a command called docker build you see so i give a, a run a command called if i can maximize this so let me let me let me take it above so that you can see the commands i've already executed i'm just gonna walk you through this one okay so first one is we need to be we you need to do a cd to the path in the sense do a cd to the path where you know you should be underneath this uh you know the folder 
so whenever you clone a repository you will have a folder with which is actually name of your github repository so you need to be you need to be in that a uh, particular working directory right so in my case i am in this this is my um, repository name which is acting as a folder in my uh, windows desktop so i did a cd to this path and then being from that path i'm executing the command called docker build hyphen hyphen rm uh, hyphen hyphen pull then file in the sense which file it needs to reference the docker file which i just now walked you right and then it will actually create in the sense it just creates a com.microsoft uh, you know created by in the sense it just uh, you know you, you know it just creates an image with the references yeah basically label labels generally you see that you know it is basically we have a hyphen hyphen label to that label we are adding this label created by you know docker cli and then we are also adding a tag to that image called microsoft document python container web app dot colon you know, latest i'm just using the reusing the commands which microsoft document has already been suggested okay so when i executed this command locally you see that you know it has taken um basically it has taken a couple of seconds okay if i can show you here so it has taken me near by one minute of time and then then the image is built here okay so once the image is built what is the next you know so you can also check uh, the docker image in the sense just type a command called docker uh, images you're gonna see that you know the image is been built here or the other way size you know so docker also provides a very good ui uh, that you know that you can actually go and explore the the things happening with the docker basically yeah so here is a docker desktop applications so whenever you install with the docker desktop you know you can open the icon for docker desktop so in my case this is my icon i, I clicked on this one so this is how it looks underneath that we have a container options we have a image options volumes so there are multiple other options available in this docker desktop application which is actually a very nice application so once i created a docker image with using by referencing to my source code it has actually built this image if i can click on this one so it will also show you that you know everything that i did in the sense it also even uh, uh, tells you know how did i how did this image been been built uh, you know so what is the uh, definitions are being used and how how the things have been happened while constructing this image everything you can explore it here okay and whenever that image is successfully built you can see that image listed here otherwise you can also use docker cli commands like this docker image and it will list the docker image yeah all right so that with that note you know i am actually done with the first part of the demo in the sense here i just first thing is you know i need to use the docker file and create a docker image which is done now next one is we need to run the docker image so that the application gets running within my local laptop in the sense locally on docker desktop okay so it also in the sense docker desktop provides that capability that you know you can actually host that image you, which you have built and try to experiment that application locally right so to do that we need to run the docker image basically so how we can do that let's see okay so for this one we have a prerequisite in the sense my application is consuming now is consuming a azure cosmos db so basically azure cosmos db is nothing but you know it's basically um, a kind of a, you know the key value pair based uh, 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 you know uh, database or uh, just like a mongodb in the sense i'm using azure cosmos db for mongodb you know flavor okay so how did i create this and what did i do that is something i'm going to quickly walk you through now and then we're going to see like you know, how you, we can run the docker image locally and test our application so here i have uh, I have a file called Azure Cosmos DB for MongoDB.sh file. So in this one, it has uh, you know we have a location, we have a, we have a location variable, uh, we have a resource group name, we have an account name, right? So here this file is nothing but it is an AZCLI commands file. It basically creates a resource group with this name, where that is the resource group name which I have given here, Microsoft Do uh, you know docs hyphen web dot hyphen web hyphen app rg. So it creates a resource group. Then with using that resource group, I'm going to create a Cosmos DB now. So that command has been listed here. That is uh, uh, AZ Cosmos DB create. Uh, this is the your, your Cosmos DB account name. So this is my Cosmos DB account name, and it will be it will be you know a, a provisioned in a resource group which we have created above. And you see that you know I'm, I'm passing a parameter called hyphen hyphen kind equal to MongoDB in the sense this Cosmos DB is flavor of MongoDB. Yeah? and then we will going to basically then you know we need so that is not enough once you have an account for cosmos db you need to do two two more things one you need to create a database within that cosmos db account and then you need to create a mongodb uh, collections basically in the sense mongodb or cosmos db right so since we have created a mongodb now we created a cosmos db account in that cosmos db we are creating a mongodb mongodb api database 
then we are creating a mongodb api collection so okay, remember that so here to create a mongodb api database this is the command you know this is the agcli command being executed that is that is you know uh, uh, az cosmos db mongodb database create uh, pass on the account name a resource group name and then the then the name of your your database in the sense here i am just using the restaurant if underscore in the sense the application which we are experimenting now by running that application locally with using docker desktop it is an restaurant application okay that's the reason it is here so this is actually creates a uh, mongodb api database then act after that you know we are actually creating the api collections in the sense within the database you need to create a collection as well so and so collection in a, in an sql terminology if i can tell you you have a database you have a table like that yeah so here then az cosmos db mongodb collection creates so basically it creates a collection you see that you know so it points to a database which is above created and then finally what we are doing is we're gonna we, we need to get the connection string out of it in the sense again i'm running this command to get the connection string of the cosmos db for mongodb yeah so that is something you know again all or az cli commands that is az cosmos db key list this is belongs to the account name this is a resource group name then you need to type the connection string yeah we should actually list the connection string all right so this is very very easy command so how did i do that is something i'm going to show you right away so first one i logged into the az cli context in the sense i logged into my subscription az cli context with using um, az login hyphen hyphen use device code and then i went to this uh, internet browser browse this uh, url and pass this uh, another code then it logged me to uh, to the account and then we are setting this environmental variable that is uh, uh, our location resource group then account name right so then then i then this is how the those commands i just now walked you through right so first one create a resource group this is how the resource group got created and then uh, we created a cosmos db of kind mongo db so this is what how it is got created right and cosmos db creation takes nearby four to five minutes so, so have a patience on that and then we are actually creating a database under cosmos db account uh, so basically az cosmos db mongo db database create and this is the name of my database which got created here and then within this database we are creating a collection called restaurant review right so when run, when i run this command so our restaurant review command got uh i know oh no, got, i know so basically our restaurant uh, uh restaurant underscore review collection got created under under cosmos database yeah and then finally to list the keys in the sense you have a cosmos db now you you need to have a connection key so that you know the docker image can use that database to store the store the database in the sense our application is using azure cosmos db as a reference okay that's the reason we need to have a cosmos db connections okay connection keys that's the reason this exercise has been been happening yeah and then we have the connections string so basically i'm going to use a primary mongodb connections okay so with that note let me take you to the uh, uh let me take you to the my cosmos db account which uh how, this is how it looks so if i refresh it here so we have a, a cosmos db that is flash container application that is an account name for mongodb yeah and then if you go to the data explorer so we will have a database called um uh, so basically we will have a database if i can explore this one so this is a restaurant review is my database within that we will have a another collection called restaurant review and within this you know you can explore the documents yeah so basically cosmos review is nothing but it will store the data of your your transaction or your application in the form of a json object okay that's the reason it is a cosmos db basically yeah so now with that note we are actually about to you know so basically how to you know test this application right so now we have all these configurations now we are left with the only one command called something like this okay i was keep on i know so basically i was keep on running this command that is docker run hyphen hyphen rm hyphen hyphen rm hyphen it publish you know so basically hyphen hyphen publish then port number then we are actually creating some environmental variables on the on the on the container app that is connection string so this is basically we wanted to have a connection string to cosmos db that's the reason we created a you know cosmos db uh, database yeah and then we have a database names been passed you see that this is a database name then we have a collection name been also been passed and this is the basically the image reference in the sense which image i need to run on the docker right so basically this is what the docker uh, this is what the docker image we are referencing it here so likewise you know i have encountered these couple of errors why because you know i was since this is a windows system and i was not following the proper uh you know the syntaxes okay i tried it twice it failed for twice then finally this is the right command that you can use it that is docker run hyphen hyphen remove hyphen hyphen uh, basically hyphen hyphen rm yeah hyphen it publish then this is the you need to use dollar uh, open flower bucket close flower bucket colon dollar and again then again open the flower bucket uh, port 
and then close the flower bucket for slash port okay this is the syntax i was missing that's the reason it was throwing the error above right and then on the as an environmental in the sense as an environmental variable on the on the docker applications we are creating the environmental variable like a uh, connection string uh, then we are having the database then we have our collections right so blah blah things basically this is the command which does the magic you know so once i did this once i did this you know i will take you to the um, my docker desktop in the sense again you go to the docker desktop so basically you can see that you know your container application is been hosted on the local locally basically on the locally docker desktop yeah so once you run this one it will automatically show you a link which you can explore in your browser and your application will be up and running fine okay so here if i go to the local host colon uh, 5 you know 5000 which is actually on which my application is listening and this is how the application is you know works okay so here you can do a testing further testing for example say i want to add a uh, particular uh, say i want to add a particular um, uh, restaurant say like a demo restaurant yeah so i will say demo uh, r so i will just say my my restaurant name is demo r and uh, then let me call it as a you uh, uh, the uh, the street address is equal to youtube right and then we will have the description equal to demo right and i can submit this one basically what is that in the sense we have a source code so we have an application in the sense application that is a docker application basically you know container application uh and, and it, it is an application written in python flask and uh, and you know we are actually wrapping that application into a container image and that container image is hosted on a docker desktop and we are basically you know from our laptop only we are actually experimenting the you know my application in the sense while i'm developing itself you know i can host i can test right so basically this actually brings a very agility to a developers in the sense you know you there is a there is a there, are, there were like a lot many complexities behind you know when when if you go back to the traditional days like you know where you are actually developing your application you want to test it you know so basically testing locally was a very very big problem earlier days you now so with the container application you know you see that you know it is actually that actually been solved okay so it looks like you know i have uh, it looks like it has successfully added a restaurant view right so and this is how it looks yeah so basically in general i have shown you the things need to be shown you here right basically like how you can uh, you know wrap a particular python flask application into a, a docker image then 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 you know basically uh, you know uh, then how to host that onto the uh, docker desktop and then finally we have where you have also seen seen that you know the application is also you know uh, working yeah further to that i'm going to give you one more tip uh, as part of this demo that is you can further explore like you know what is that happening on this a uh, container application which is hosted on locally right so here you can see the logs here you can do a inspect here you can do a build you know bind uh, bind uh, bind mounts you can have a execute command in the sense you can log in into that container and try to execute certain commands yeah so for example say i can just do a date right so it does, it does actually uh, give certain output okay so in that also you can also explore the files and folders of that container as well and then you can also check the status as well here right and within the status you can also see that you know how much cpu this application is is being consuming you see the memory you have a disk reading in the sense basically you know this is this is actually like a full pack in the sense before you commit this code into the uh, source code and then you test it into a development environment uat environment to the production you have a complete pack you know you can do everything experimented on the local laptop itself yeah so that is the main aim of this particular uh, demo all right so with that note i have shown you everything need to be shown in this video finally i can't request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video